Hey, what is up, YouTube? I'm actually parked right outside of a Goodwill. I'm so sorry that it's been a while since I posted a video. I've been trying to get me and Aaron together so we can actually do this, but it's actually pretty freaking hard to do that. Specifically because we work different shifts. He works uh, mornings and I, I work evenings. Um, but I got a lot of stuff to tell you guys. Sales have been going amazing. Thank you so much for the support. So make sure to follow us on Instagram, subscribe, like the video if you guys enjoy watching me get all this cool stuff also i'm gonna be uh going to a puya concert next month and i plan on giving him a, a vintage miami dolphins bag i found this bag about three four months ago when i went to hemp fest in the summer and when i saw it i immediately thought to myself i was like wow this is on some puya miami vibes you know because i am a huge supporter huge fan of puya um and he actually liked my comment very recently i'll put a picture up in the video and it's coming your way puya so Without further ado, let's hope we get some really cool stuff later. Sorry for the long introduction. We got this Hanes Beefy. It's a tribute to Gary Patterson. It's, good. it's like an all over print. It's pretty crazy, man. And for four bucks, this is definitely coming with me. I came across this other Terrell Davis jersey. This one's actually a champion. And I'm gonna pick it up. It's $10, which really, is a little too much. But what I'll do is I'll go ahead and bundle it with the other Troll Davis jersey I have and then uh, give you guys a good deal on it. All right, guys, so I just checked the, all these racks over there, so they've been looked through already by me. I found this BYU jacket. It's really nice. Looks like the tag on it is Velva Sheen. It's an XL. And then on the back, it's BYU embroidery. It's freaking nice. So this is definitely coming with me. They only want seven dollars so that'll come with me. We got this Buffalo Bills, the game, vintage uh, crew neck, and the same price, seven bucks, so this is definitely come with me. Uh, nothing on the back, but still really nice crew neck. So I found these shell toes. Probably not gonna scoop, just cause they don't fit me. We got these J's, and they also don't fit me. Man, these would be definitely be restorable if they did fit me though. Pretty cool. Let's see, let's see. About three minutes in, I found this. It's printed on a Delta Pro weight. It's a Keisha 2011. It's a, and it's a two-sided. The only problem is, is this is really small. So probably not gonna pick up because I'll be sitting on it for a while. And it's five bucks, which is a little too high. So. Okay, guys, now we're talking. Look at this, Super Bowl champions. This was actually, look, the Keisha one's right here. And as I was looking, look, Denver Broncos, really nice. Five bucks, I'll take that. And it's on a Logo 7, so that is for sure old, so it's gonna be coming with me. I ended up finding these two shirts. There's a Primitive, four bucks, and it's a Dragon Ball Z. Look on the back here, we have Homeboy. <laughs> Chilling. And then, Frieza as well. Watch me! This one's for you, father! And as well, it's a primitive. It's primitive. And then it has this print right here on the side. And also four bucks. And y'all remember this? A pristine Hasselbeck jersey. Love it. But it was tripping, man. Check this out. $20? Nah, we ain't doing that. So not today. Who needs a remote? I gotcha. So guys, Aaron found this starter jersey and they want $12.99 for it. So. I don't think it's so this is gonna pass. I found this Adidas crew neck, really cool olive color, but they want $7 for it. I found this Woolrich and now this one, seven bucks. Then Aaron found Nike hat, black tag Nike. Yo, this is when the heart starts racing right here. This is wild. It's gonna be wild right now. Let's get it. So we just pulled up to the bins. Aaron is right over there, as you can see. He just came up on this lapper right here. Check it out. We got this heavy equipment. Seems to be a single stitch. The tag is faded and completely shot. So I can't see anything on there. But it's an all over print. And then on the back, home improvement. And it's 1994, it looks like. So, really cool. I came up on these right here. These are Carhartt overalls. 
and these do very well. So it does have some staining. Looks like in the back we have that. Um, and in the front, we obviously got Carhartt right there. I'll clean it up, see what I can get out of them. On this camel jacket, and now this one's interesting because it looks like a camel logo. I don't think it is. And it has like suede here on the arm sleeves, on the elbows. It's pretty dope. All right, guys. So looks like this is all we're gonna be walking out with. Check it out. We got this Kennedy Space Center. New with tags. This Navy Academy, Kalamazoo, and University of. Like I said, the car heart I showed you guys that just a second ago. Utah Jazz. This one is a swingster. Pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And the home improvement. And then, oh, don't want to forget this one. The Canadian brass. Pretty cool. And it's printed on a gilded. So yeah, looks like that's all we're going to be walking out with today. Hey, what is up, YouTube? I'm actually closing this video out a little bit more late than I wanted to, but nevertheless, let's dig and let's see what I got. So back in the beginning of the video, I did end up picking up this Gary Patterson t-shirt. Really dope. Hope you guys can see it. And the back is just two tone, so I love this print. Really cool. I don't know who Gary Patterson is, to be honest, but the shirt was awesome. So I was like, I'm gonna buy it. Like I said, I ended up picking up this Terrell Davis jersey. I think if you watch my second video, yeah, I think it's my second video, second or third, I picked up this one at the bins, and this one's a starter. So this one I paid probably like 75 cents for, and this one I ended up having to pay the full $10. But what it did is it gave me an opportunity to go ahead and eBay bundle these, so I'm more than likely to get a quicker sell on it. So I ended up picking those two things up. I got the Super Bowl champion of Denver Broncos versus Green Bay Packers. Really cool crew neck logo seven if you can see that and uh yeah this one was four bucks i believe it was so definitely had a cop really good for the winter attire because it's getting really cold and you know people are looking for that winter gear and i got you covered we got this byu jacket really freaking sick yep and yeah had to pick that up that was seven dollars so i'm not gonna let that go it's a velvet sheen and also in the beginning of the video i did mention that i will be going to a puya concert here's that ticket so check it out i'm really really excited and the bag i'm gonna be giving him is this one right here so really excited i bought this months ago i bought this months ago before i even started this youtube channel and when i saw it i initially thought to myself wow I was like, this bag is like on some Puya Miami vibes, you know? Like, I'm a huge Puya fan. I listen to him every single day. Huge fan of him. I was actually just playing him prior to recording this video. Aaron found this about a week ago, and I'm also gonna throw it in the bag. Really cool Miami Dolphins towel. Really, really nice. The colorway on this thing is just amazing. I am no Miami Dolphins fan, obviously. I'm here wearing a Seahawks jersey. Go Hawks, but Hoya is, so very, very excited. I'm sorry it took a while just to make this video and that I haven't been posting on YouTube. I really want to create this YouTube channel, show you guys the cool stuff that we can get. Me and Aaron have actually been thrifting since 2012. It's pretty incredible to get together and just, you know, start trying to create like a business out of this. And you know, that's what I really want to do. About a week ago, I went up to Spokane and that's about an hour and my car broke down on me. My timing belt had actually snapped while I was driving. So if you know anything about cars, when your timing belt snaps while you're driving, that is not good. For a new engine, I was looking about 800 bucks. And then for installation, I was looking at another 500. The car was worth as much as the labor and the new engine. So I ended up buying a new car. But the reason why I went out there is because I wanted to link up with a really good friend of mine. His name is Recreational420. Go ahead and check him out. Put a link of his YouTube down in the description. Really cool guy. If you like someone that's well-educated on cannabis, does really cool cannabis reviews, loves the culture, loves the brand, loves everything that's involved, I fully recommend checking out his videos. Really, really good guy. And uh, we actually put up a video and that should be coming out very soon. But as you guys can see, I live here at my parents' house and that really limits me as far as like recording, especially if I share a room with my little brother. Hey man, do you touch my drum set? Nope. I will be getting a house very soon, and as soon as I get the house, I'll be able to post more content more consistently, frequently, and I'm really excited. So I hope you guys really enjoy the stuff I have, the stuff I'm getting, and uh, thank you so, so much for the support. I, I couldn't thank you guys enough. Thank you. Make sure to subscribe, like the video, comment. It really helps get my name out there. Peace out, guys.